If you watched yesterday's video, I did a shopper drop. I talked about the ColourPop Star Wars collection, which you can obviously see that we're talking about today. I was excited about it. I thought it was so cute. I wouldn't buy it for myself because I'm not a Star Wars fan, but I wanted to get it in PR and I am so lucky, you guys. That evening, I went and got my mail and I got the ColourPop and new Star Wars collaboration collection. And I went online today and I noticed for once, for a collab, not everything is sold out. So I thought, you know what, I might as well film a review on it. I'm not a Star Wars fan, I don't know anything about Star Wars, which is why I would not have purchased this collection on my own, but thank you to ColourPop for sending it to me in PR. I did say, I may not be a Star Wars fan, but I can recognize a good collab. This is a good collab, I think it's so well done, so detailed, so I'm excited to show you guys, for those of you that are a Star Wars fan, because for once, like I said, I'm shocked that not everything is sold out, so I thought I'd still show you guys. So at least the time that I'm filming this, you can buy the entire collection for $105. It doesn't seem like it's that much money off. It says the full value is $112, but everything is available because the palette is sold out individually. You cannot buy the palette individually. And I think there is like one of the eyeliners or something is sold out, yeah. But everything else is available and if you do want the palette, you can buy the whole collection. So let's get into the palette. If they do decide to restock this, the palette is $24. And here is the packaging, you guys, for the outer carton. I just think it's so cool, so detailed. It does say on the back that this is not intended for use in the media eye area, which means there's press pigment if that's something you watch out for. And then here is the back made in USA of US and or imported ingredients. Okay, and then let's take a look at the palette itself. So this is the actual palette. I wish it was the same as the box, but that's okay. <laughs> I still think it's really cool, but if you are a Star Wars fan or a collector, you definitely want to hold on to the box. And then if you open up though, you do have the artwork here. No mirror, but again, this is so cool. I love how it's right here at the fold as well. And then here is the palette. Also in the collection, and I'll do the swatches and everything as we get to it, but I just wanted to show you there are also three Lux lipsticks in the collection, $10 each. Excited to see them come out with Lux lipsticks because I feel like they slowed down on those. There also is two... There also is two Lux glosses, $9 each. There is two Jelly Much eyeshadows for $10 each. And then there is two eyeliners. One is sold out, but these are $10 each. Let's get into it. Let's swatch the palette. Taking a closer look at the color story, it is perfectly to theme of Star Wars. I think they did a great job. And I mean, I wouldn't go out of my way to say that this palette is unique. There's a lot of neutrals in here, but I, I think it's pretty unique. <laughs> I don't know. It's at least for me not a color story that I would normally buy for myself. And I love how we have these shades right here. They kind of remind me of the Huda Beauty shadows. Anyways, let's get to swatching, but while it might not be my cup of tea, I'm excited to see what I can do with this. First, I actually want to swatch these. They feel like a super shot shadow. Just wanted to see what we were getting from these. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so this one is more of like a gray, and this one, it looks like a mixture of all the colors, the black, the white, and the red, so I don't even know what to describe that color as. Definitely had to swatch those first. Okay, let's get the rest. Rebel Princess, this one I feel like is a super shock shadow. Jedi Knight is a metallic. Starfighter is a matte. Kessel Run is a shimmer. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing this. I have no idea what these names mean. One, that one's kind of sheer. Two, okay, not bad. Ooh, wow. The silver, insane. I like that we have a matte navy. Hyperdrive looks a little bit more champagne. Now we're into the neutrals here. Ooh, this swatched really nice, all things considered. Ooh, this one has kind of like a pinky turn to it. Then we have a matte brown with the shimmers. Loyalty, Galactic Empire. I might need to play around with the reds. Look very nice, okay. Play the blue. Doesn't stay, no it doesn't, okay, good. Ah, 
average swatch. It's ColourPop though, so it's fine. <laughs> and then last two shades, Alliance and then Star Destroyer, which they definitely needed to have a black in this collection. Ooh, that black seems so nice. Honestly, I think this color story is interesting, it's different, and it's perfectly to theme of the collab. I think they did a great job choosing the colors of this palette. Everything swatched like a ColourPop palette, you know, so not super high-end or amazing, but definitely really great for the price. We gotta play, we do. Before we do that, I do want to swatch the Jelly Much eyeshadows in this collection to see if I want to incorporate them into my look. Such cute packaging, right? These are $10 each. And then here's what the component looks like. So cute. So this is the shade Astromet. Then it does have a cover to keep everything fresh. And then here's what it looks like. This looks insane. Okay, let me swatch it. I have some on my finger. Okay, that looks so pretty. It almost goes translucent when it's on a certain angle. <gasps> I think it's so pretty though. It has the lilacs and the blues going through there, which you can't necessarily see on camera because a lot of like the silver reflex are showing with the light hitting it directly. But when it's in indirect light, it's like more purpley blue. I love it. That's stunning. The next one that we have is Protocol. This is what it looks like when you open it. So you see it, it has like a golden shift to it. The golden shift is quite strong on my finger. Ooh, this one is pretty too. I am partial to this one just because it's purpley pink, but the gold looks really fun too. I'm not sure if I'm gonna incorporate these in my looks. Let's see. You know what, actually, before I put the eyeshadow on, I don't have a base or anything on, but let's see how they look on the lid. So we're gonna go into Astromech first. That one is really neat, you guys. And again, in certain lights, it almost goes translucent, but then in other lights, you can see the purpley colors. I think it would be really cool with a navy base all over the lid and then putting this on top. That would be stunning. Let's look at the other one. So this is the gold one, Protocol. And ColourPop's formula in this has come a long way. This used to not be a very good color pop formula i felt like it would get chunky and flaky it doesn't do that anymore they don't last the longest they will eventually dry out but again this is really pretty with the right base colors they would look stunning this is on my bare lid so they're probably not in their best form right now but i do really like this formula and they're really really cool it would go perfectly with the palette okay i'm gonna do a look with the eyeshadow palette and I'll come back to do the other eye with you. Do I like this look? I'm not sure, but I wanted to play with the blues and I wanted to play with the reds because I'm gonna assume that the neutral shades are typical ColourPop quality. I had to play with the colors here. So this is what we got. Let's just, let's play with it, okay? <laughs> so first things first, I'm gonna use some of Starfighter. This is just a nice neutral shade that we are going to run across the whole crease. I'm using one of the brushes from the BK Beauty and Angie Hot and Flashy collection. Blends great. By the way, I have just some ColourPop concealer on as my base. And then we're gonna go in with some of Alliance next, which is a little deeper, has a little bit more purple. And I'm gonna focus this on the center of the crease and then blend it outwards like so and then whatever is left i'll bring it in but i wanted the color focused in the center because you can see we kind of got a little purpley with it in the center of the eyelid just how the colors mixed together this is the base starting point looks good to me <laughs> ek beauty a502 and we're going into rebellion this is the color that I definitely needed to play with because I just feel like navies can go so terribly wrong. And we're in luck because this navy is really great quality. So I'm not mad. You see how it's staying even, it's blending out, it's holding its own opacity wise. I'm quite impressed with this navy because sometimes navies, mm. I've had some bad navies in my time. And then I'm gonna go in with the original blending brush to try and work out and blend the edges. With colors like this, it's a slow process to get the blend as nice and even as possible. Building up just a little more. If you're wondering why it's getting a little patchy right here, um, this brush got wet. It was sitting next to my coffee and now it's patchy. 
That's on me though, not the product. Ugh, I can't believe that just happened. But as you can see, there's no patchiness on this eye. That was just my fault. My brush got wet on accident. Next, I'm gonna take my finger and we're going into Jedi Knight. This shade isn't amazing. It's perfectly fine. It works fine, but it's not as creamy as I would like. I need to not complain though, because this is fine. <laughs> it actually, when you apply it with a finger, that's good. I take back my words. That's good. I'm gonna redefine with a little bit more of the matte navy here because I just want a little bit of the shimmery blue popping through. And then I just had to play a little bit with the Super Shock shade in here. And I just put it a little bit over in the center. Now this doesn't have too much of a pigmented base, but you can see it adds a little extra sparklies and dimension. Okay, let's move in. I'm going to take some of this shade right here. This is when things get a little dicey. I needed to play with the red side too. So I'm going to start off with this in the inner part of the crease. I'm going to wipe off my brush because I don't want too much color. But this, I don't know, it blends in with the blue to almost become purple. I was worried it would become a little muddy, but I actually like the way that they blend in together. So I ended up being happy with this. And I'm going to take a clean brush and really soften the edges. So to not get out of control, I'm wiping the brush every so often after I blend because you don't want the red to get in closer to your eye because it won't be very flattering. And you see, like that turned into purple almost, which I think is really great. I like how that looks better. And then we're going in with the shimmery red next. Just using a brush for this. The shimmers in this palette, like the regular shimmers, not the super shocks, are not amazing. As you can see, they are working and there's super shocks and a couple of the neutral shimmers are a little bit of higher quality. But like the blue and this red, they're just okay. But it's ColourPop. You know, can't be too harsh. Okay, so then I was like at this point, how am I gonna blend the blue and the red together seamlessly? So I went into Outer Rim here, which is that weird, weird shade, but oddly enough, it's the perfect shade to make the two blue and red sides blend together. I don't know, I don't know if that was intentional on ColourPop's part, but this shade makes the blue and the red blend together perfectly. It's so weird, but I love it. It pulled it all together, right? Okay, so I actually didn't get that much fallout, but I'm gonna quickly clean up under the eyes. I'm gonna powder a little bit, and then we will finish up the look. Okay, let's quickly finish up the lower lash line. I actually like this look I decided. I do think I like it. Okay, I'm gonna use this shade right here, which truly is like, kind of purple, right? And I'm gonna put this on the inner half of the lower lash line, just a touch of it. And then we're gonna do some of the navy shade, of course, which still think that this is such a bomb navy shade. And make sure you blend the red and the blue together. It'll give you a nice purple shade, which you know I'm a fan of. Wasn't even intentional, guys, but I'm not complaining. Okay, I'm gonna go into Rebel Princess, which is a super shock shade. Doesn't give off too much pigment, especially since I'm using a brush. Synthetic brush would be better. This is natural hair. But once you build it up, it's nice, right? And then finally, I'm just gonna take a little bit of Jedi Knight, and I'm just gonna pop it a little bit in the center, not completely. I want some of the navy to show as well, but just there to kind of end things up. And then there is one more thing that I do want to do that I didn't do on the other eye because we do have a black. This black is a little messy, so I'm using a really light hand and I'm gonna pop it right in the outer corner just to intensify the look and smoke everything out. Then even a little bit down here. But you see how that added more depth? I just feel like it matches the palette better now that I did that. Hey, this palette was so good. It's like very hard to work with colors and I thought everything was super easy to work with. I think off camera, I'm gonna blend up here a little bit more. But before I do that, I do wanna show you the eyeliners that are in this collection. One shade is currently sold out, but these are the graphics art liners. These are the components that they're gonna come in. They are $10 each and these look really, really neat. Here's what the packaging itself looks like. It matches the rest of the collection. This is Kyber Crystal. Ooh, that's so cool. Do you see the glitters that this has? I'm definitely gonna use this today. I'm trying to open the other one, but it's not opening. I got it, okay. So this one is Lightsaber. 
This one is sold out. This one seems a little watery, but it has some red running through it. I'm gonna use the blue shade because that one is still available. I don't know how it's gonna show up on this look, but let's try it. I've never tried a liner like this from ColourPop. So make sure you shake it up, get the formula nice. Pool's kind of dark. Ooh, that's pretty. These are a bit watery, so I feel like I do need to go over it a couple times. Mm, I might feel a slight burning sensation. Mm, these aren't my favorite. I don't think I recommend these because Oops, don't know how that happened, but it gives me a very subtle burning sensation. It's not as serious as it sounds. That happens to me with glitter liners sometimes. It does go away. It already went away on this side, but that's just something to note. And I have to go over it a few times, which I don't like. I think some of the glimmers get lost in application. Yeah, I'm not as big of a fan of these. I might feel differently if I'm wearing like lighter shadow. Anyways, I'm gonna do my lashes and get some blush on and then we'll finish off with the lip products in this collection. The way that this look pulled together, I actually quite like it. I was unsure of my decisions while doing this, but I think it's so fun for the palette. I'm excited to get into the lips now. ColourPop came out with their Cream Luxe lipsticks, which I don't think they come out with enough. So they came out with three in this collection. This is what the box is going to look like that it comes in. And then here is the component. It has some glitter, really cute. So this first shade is Dark Lord. And you'll see, look at that detail on the lipstick. Amazing, these are only $10. So this is a more kind of nudie shade. Let me put it on. This is the lightest shade, so I'm gonna pop it on for you. Super creamy, like these are such a great price. This is by far going to be the most wearable shade in this collection, and it's quite comfortable. It's definitely like a satin finish. The next shade that I have is Surrender. So let's try it on. So Surrender is going to be a red. I feel like it has a little bit of pink in it. Let's try it on. I don't think I'm gonna go with this lipstick for today's look. Has a good amount of pigment. Obviously an uneven application, but I just wanted to show you what the color would look like. And then the last shade is super dark. This is Supreme Ruler. I think maybe this one for today. Right, my bones are making it swatch not good. This has a little bit of purple in it. I'm gonna put that shade on for the final look, so I'm gonna hold off on swatching that on my lips for you guys just yet. Because there also were two Lux glosses that launched in this line. This is the box that they are gonna come in. Here are the two colors. We have a peachy color and a purple color. The Luxe Gloss formula from ColourPop, they're fine. I'm not in love with the formulation. So this is Imperial, which you can see is kind of like a glimmery peachy shade, doesn't have too much color to it. I think they look fitting in the collection, but in terms of wearing, I don't think I'm gonna reach for these a lot. And then Elite, it's kind of more purpley. While this does have a bit of a purple shift to it, again, both of these are pretty much clear with a very slight tint to them. I just would go for the lipsticks and I don't think you need the lip glosses if you're worried about how often you're gonna wear them. I mean, they're cute, they go with the collection, but functionality wise, I could be wrong, I don't know what makeup you're wearing, but for me looking at them, I'm not gonna wear those that often. And I don't really love their Lux Gloss formula anyways, like it's fine. But there's so many other better lip formulas out there, you know? Now for my lips today, I'm going to start off with the Esom Dual Lip Pencil. And I'm using the Dark Plum. And I'm going to start off by lining the outside of my lips with this. Just a little bit to keep the outside of my lips clean. Then we're going to use a Supreme Ruler Lipstick. Very dark for me, but I love it. And then for fun, we'll use the Purple Lip Gloss in the shade Elite. So it's showing up against that dark base. And while the purple glimmers are showing through, I mean, I'm still not sold on it. I'm gonna clean up the doe foot, but it's kind of cool. All right, let me clean up my desk and I'll be back to give you my final thoughts on this collection. Obviously, we went very dramatic with the look today, but let's finish up this video. If you were thinking about buying this collection, this is personally to me what is worth it and what is not. So first of all, the eyeshadow palettes. I like this eyeshadow palette. I think, you know, it's good classic color pop quality. I don't know that this is gonna be everybody's cup of tea color story wise, but if you're into the color story and you like Star Wars, this palette is perfect. Even 
though I did this super dramatic makeup look today, there are a lot of neutral options in here as well to keep it very wearable, but you still have fun pops for a really unique, fun, dramatic look as well. Not my typical favorite color story, but I had a lot of fun. This made me step outside my comfort zone, but it's honestly kind of cool to look at because there are some pretty natural, neutral, everyday looks that you can get out of this. So I like the palette. I think that the Jelly Mutt shadows, even though I didn't get to use them in today's look, I think they're pretty nice and I really love the colors. So if you're interested in these, I think you will like these, especially pairing these with the palette. These are gonna look really cool on top of some shadows. What is not worth it, in my opinion, are the eyeliners. I'm surprised one even sold out. They burned my eyes a little bit. They were a bit too watery. They went on a little uneven, at least the one that I tried. So yeah, not as big of a fan of these. I just think you can get better. The lipsticks are really awesome. I love ColourPop lipsticks. I think they feel very high quality for the price that you pay. The most wearable shade is going to be Dark Lord. The other two shades I don't see myself wearing too often. Maybe the red shade, this shade. I did it for the look, but if you like any of these colors, and of course if you like Star Wars, these are awesome. And then finally, the lip glosses. To me, these aren't worth it. They're really sheer. The purple did look cool on top of the darkest lipstick, but to me still, it's not really worth it. Unless again, you're a collector, you love Star Wars and you want to have it, then go for it. But the ColourPop Luxe Gloss Formula, to me, I'm not really a fan of anyways. I would pass on those. So the liners and the lip glosses are my least favorite. I think everything else is pretty awesome. So again, a huge thank you to ColourPop for sending this my way. I mean, even though I'm not a Star Wars fan, I still think that this collection is so fun and so well done. Let me know if you guys have picked it up and if you've gotten the chance to try it yet, let me know your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching this video and subscribing to my channel and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.